So we just called it in. Here comes the re repair guy right now. So let's see him back in. <laughs> we had to move our car. And now, right after we called it in, we have a double caution saying that we got another westbound coming. I, I was about to say, if we never called it in, I would say that this game would be still would be still down. This reminds me of this one crossing at at Bemis Road, folks. So I don't know how long this westbound will take because we do have a we do have we do have a double caution over there, folks. <laughs> so does that mean we got a westbound coming or? Might, might be another 20 minutes or so. Oh. So, what happened, Grandma? What was it just stuck down? Something horrible in there went bad? Oh, so no wonder why this, this gate was down. So, I'm gonna pause the camera for right now. And, folks, we, we, ju we just had a westbound go by about, like, 20 minutes ago, or it could have been a little longer ago. So, so far the crossing is all off right now, folks. So, so far so good. Apparently, something went bad in one of these, um, game mechanisms. I, I mean, the one on this side that's open right now was the one that had issues. Today is the same day as my other videos. Well, like my other free. So far. There's the mile marker 57, folks. I don't know if you can see that or not. <sighs> Get 
Come on. See, Grandma, I... See, 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 Grandma, I told you that. So I think when this light first changes it, that it's already went through cone. I wonder what train it is, because I thought the last one was, was the 131 of CP. Yeah, it's the 121. Oh, so, so that last one was the one that I was thinking of was the one, 131? Yeah, how'd you know that? Well, I thought it was the 137, because the 131 is usually a lot longer than 86 cars. Whatever, it's the NS ones. Sorry about a long video already, but I want to... Show you, show you, show you all of my um subscribers on YouTube about what's happening here way before this NS121 gets here. So here is this side that got stuck over here on this side, folks. But the reason why it went off again, it was not the crossing itself. It was the repair guy who did it this time. I don't know how long it's been stuck for, but... As soon as I got got here, I noticed that that this one gate was down and the other one was not. Oh, so I got stuck after that last one. Oh. By the way, folks, folks, that last train almost hit all of those turkey buzzards right by Gorman. So that might be why you kept hearing its horn 
a little bit longer after he started to cross sacred highway. For a second, I fought the train signal chains I fought. Be, be, because I was way back here and I couldn't see it. Grandma, is it still a double caution? Yes, okay. Man, I fought every time I see it, I double caution. I'm thinking that 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 these trains have to stop before these. Oh, so that means the one after here is just. Just a yellow. Oh. Oh. So, folks, I kind of lied. So, when it's a double caution here, it just means that a train can approach? By the way, it is not the same thing like, like if it was a green and red. I know the green and red means the line ahead is clear. Is like... By the way, it would be the same thing if I was on my train game on my computer right now. It, when I when I have have my mouse on the um train signal, it just says line ahead is clear. Yeah? Right here. See all the discoloration right there? Yeah. On those solder joints? That's for this relay right here, and this relay must have failed. Wow. There's a bunch of relays here, and that's the one that usually goes bad when that happens. Oh, okay. Pretty cool, huh? Well, we'll send it in for repair or replacement. Oh. Why? Well, you know they're probably going to see What? What did the milepost say? I couldn't hear it. 52.5. So that's only like eight miles away, I think? Oh, but just went green and red. So, all right. You heard him, everyone? Yep, that's right. I do have to stay way back. So, expect this NS-121 going very slow or having to make a stop. Either one of those two, I don't know yet. When the repair guy's scanner went off, it said milepost... 
5.5. And Daddy, I love it when you hear me say this. Last thing it said, no defects. So this just now went to a green and red, so, um... Sorry about the long video, I wanted to show you all what happened to this crossing a little bit, folks. Well, now I think the um, crossing issues are over right now, folks. And now we are hoping to see this train here, folks. Was that the horn? So he must be only about a mile and a half from here. But but then the last time I said that he was a lot further down away from the track. So that means Mommy Street is a green and it's no longer yellow. Extravaganza, folks, like, like what my dad would say if my dad was out here right now. And I have to look out, here comes a big cement truck. I, I don't know if he's, I don't know it, I don't know if he's gonna make it before this. He's going very slow. Grandma, do you want to be over here with me? Before the crossing goes off, Grandma? No, okay. So I think when these gates go down, he'll be just right there. Uh, you. Usually, you usually you usually the gates here would would end up going down before he goes around that corner there. Do you know how fast that they usually go for Adrian? Uh, they can do 60 miles per hour through here, except for they got oh. 40 miles per hour. Oh! Oh, be oh, he's just right there, folks. I believe he's just only about an eighth of a mile, folks. Well, I... I would not say that, I would say about maybe only a hundred feet or something. Okay, folks, so it looks like these gates are going down a lot faster now. Here he comes, just cross.
there because of how slow he's going. It feels like he had to stop somewhere from how from how slow it's going. also known as those truck frames. And Daddy, if you are watching this video, tell me if he is moving out. There's the... There's the repair guy over there, folks. is gonna have. He should get up to Paveton Depot, also known as Dale's house in about a half an hour. It's which is right outside of Geyer. It's like a like a um it is a depot that is about only about 400 feet from from the Geyer Road crossing. And I hope that Dale Pape gets this train here on video. Because if he does, ha because if he if he has his um scanner on, I bet he will want to film it for his own train group. Okay, let let's see how this crossing does now. Much better from the looks.
We can still hear hear its horn. Well, maybe I should back up for a second. Did you let my my mom know, Grandma? About what happened? All right. Next time I come here, folks, it will not be this this long of a video. Well, there you have it. I believe that was all of the West Bounce for today, folks. Thank you to nobody for posting in any train group for these updates. Well, maybe I should... Okay, 